okay so in this video we'll be starting a new topic which is file handling file handling is a very easy topic it's pretty easy but it's quite lengthy it is it is lengthy okay so before we jump into file handling i want you to go back like to the first lecture ever that happened in c++ and where we learned it about hashtag uh hashtag include um io stream this was the first library we learned about okay the very first library so this library had two basic or the most used or the most frequently used function which were cn and cout so we have used these both functions a lot like they are the most common ones so okay so cn is equivalent to i i stream i stream is input stream and c out is o stream o stream is the output stream okay so what cn will do is it will take take in data and c out displays or it gives out data okay so to put this into a diagram okay we'll we'll draw a diagram this is our keyboard now keyboard is our input device okay so anything wherein we have to give input to our code so this is our code code is our program okay so if we want to give input we'll use the keyboard which is an input device and it gives the input to the program say for example the program asks say for example you wrote a cout statement which says enter a number so the input is given by the keyboard and the program receives it using a cn statement okay and then if you want to display the same thing if you want to display the same thing we use an output device so in this case the output device will be a monitor okay so this is using c out so cn will give the input okay and c out gives us the output these both input and output devices are connected by a program the program is where we write the code and it handles the it handles the data so what sort of data does it handle we know the data types so let's say for example the program asks for an integer data type and a character data type in tan char and you took in phi and let's say b okay now these entries or these data or this data was stored in bytes in the form of bytes okay uh, come here directly okay um these bytes these bytes were stored in a temporary memory temporary memory okay what do i mean by temporary memory is as long as the program was running as long as this program was running program was running the temporary memory was in existence and as soon as the program stopped running okay the tem the temporary memory will vanish or it will get erased vanished or erased the name suggests itself temporary memory so as long as the program will run the temporary memory exists and as soon as it is completed or the execution has been done the temporary memory when vanishes or gets erased so that's not the ideal thing if you want to save the uh, uh, save the output of the program here is when we use the new library which is fstream okay uh, we'll use a new page for this whole thing so the new library is fstream okay the new library brings in a new element the new element of this library is file 
now f stream has a new file element this file element so we have this new file element okay this file is saved on a hard disk okay this is saved on a hard disk I don't know how you draw a hard disk so consider this it is a hard disk hard disk is where all the permanent data can be saved permanent data is saved unlike RAM where all the static data or the temporary data is saved so the file is where you can save the data you want to be saved uh, where you can write the data which you want to access even after the code has completed its execution so we have this new element file now for file handling we use a mixture of IO stream and F stream so IO stream plus F stream gives us the ability to file handling okay so this is what file handling is now we learn how to open and close a file this is the first important topic like it is very 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 important like if you don't know how to open and close a file there is no chance that you'll be able to handle or write in or read the data from a file so this is a very important topic okay so we learned about f stream okay f stream has classes in it inbuilt classes i will say inbuilt classes or predefined yeah predefined is the word predefined class classes in it okay these classes are if stream if stream which gives us the ability to read data i'll explain how the uh, how you i'll explain it wait of stream which gives us the ability to write data and f stream itself which gives us the ability to do both that is read plus write okay so whenever i say read write so it is in perspective of the program okay i'll explain this because it you really have to understand the perspective from which i'm speaking so you get the further explanation so if i say the program is reading data that is program reads data from the file okay that is input from the input for the program okay so when i say write it is with respect to the program so the program is writing on the file so that is the output for the program and input for the file so when i say the program is uh, uh, when i say input input for the program the program is reading not the file so input for the program and output for the program so this is read for the program and this is write in terms of the program so i hope you understand that because if you, uh, it is just the perspective i don't mean to say that file is reading or the file is writing i, I want to say that program is reading and program is writing okay so if you understood that that then let's move forward so we'll make another diagram this is the next thing okay so now that i explained you that file handling is a mixture of io stream and f stream let's draw the console this is okay this is console console is console includes only input and output 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 to the monitor this is the console diagram i'll write it over here console diagram or console working of the program okay so now let's draw the console diagram and we'll add this new element which was file to the console so the console diagram is same so we let's say we have a we have a keyboard 
okay keyboard as the input device I'll, i won't write it again you know it as an input device okay we have our temp internal memory so this is our internal memory which has the program plus data in it okay and the keyboard gives its data to the program using cn that is read data okay the program will give its data to the output device which is the monitor using c out okay so c out which allows it to put data or write data now the new element of this thing is external memory external memory external memory is our file in this case okay so this program can write data on the file write data on the file and it can even read data from the file okay so the file is on the hard disk the location is on the hard disk this is our temporary memory plus the program and this is our input and the output device okay read data from files and write data on files so if I were to divide this whole thing let's say I divide the whole diagram in two halves so this part this part is our I'm sorry for tilting the book this part is our console program okay and this part is our file program so program data program data interlinks the console program plus the file program okay this is the file part this is the console part I hope that is clear so now how do you the question is how to open and close a file so let's answer that question first before answering the question we need to know the requirements requirements for creating the file or why do you why do you want a file or what will you do with the file okay so the requirement number one is requirement number one is name for the file name for the file the file needs to have a name so let's say the file name is data one and dot doc or data one dot txt so in this case this data one is the file name okay and dot doc or dot dot doc or dot txt is the extension this specifies what data type is data one or the what data type is the file so the data one is dot txt which is it is a file type of txt and the second requirement is data type which is right over here what what i said data type and the structure of the file so this is fulfilled by dot txt or the extension which you're using third is the purpose of creating the purpose or why do you want to create so this let's say for example you want to store the contacts of the entries 
given by some event so that is your purpose so so you will take input like for example all the phone numbers which you got and you save it in a txt file so it is permanent even if the program stops running you have all the numbers which you can refer to again so that is the purpose and fourth and the very important top uh, part is opening method opening method or let's say methods because there are two okay so now we'll discuss about opening methods so as we discussed earlier we have the library fstream dot h this fstream dot h has three classes in it uh, if you can recall the classes were if stream of stream and f stream okay so this f stream allows a uh, o stream allows you to write data input stream allows you to read data and f stream allows you to do both just remember this okay now how to you how do you open a file how to open a file there are two ways in which you can do this two ways method one is using constructor function of class using constructor function of class and the method two is using member function of class I'll explain this okay so let's check the first one out the constructor function of the class method constructor function of class okay so why do we use a constructor and not in terms of file handling why do we regularly or primarily use a constructor we use a constructor to initialize an object so we have used constructors before to initialize the uh, in, uh, to initialize the data types data of the object say it had for example int we used to write int equals to 0 int a equals to 0 b equals to 0 my name equals to 0 or anything we used to write 0 in it to initialize the variables okay so even in the case case of file handling we used to we use it to initialize an object okay and so to do it step one is to make an object make an object okay now you'll ask object of which class it depends if you want to write if you want to write data then make object of of stream class and if you want to read data then make an object of if stream class okay so it depends uh, if you want to write or read and you create objects accordingly now now say for example I want to create an object I want to create a file when and I want to write data in it okay so how does it work so I write OF stream because that is the class it is same as used to declare objects for the normal class so first the class name OF stream then the object name that is you can name it anything anything you want I'll name it out file out file and the file type that is let's say my file 
so here we have class this is our class this is the object and this is our file so we have created an object which is linked this file is linked with this object I'll write linked over here okay remember link because we have to unlink it after we are done using the function okay I know this is a bit confusing right now but go with the flow and you will understand eventually so the step 2 in this was to initialize okay so as we know we call the constructor it will obviously initialize the thing and we called it for my file okay my file is the name of a file so when we do when you do this like we did over here you create the object and give it a file name it will initialize this my file okay so that thing is done the step 2 is done and you have your file ready to work on so the file is now linked to the object and it's ready to use now we did this for of stream okay we did this for of stream only now let's say uh, let's say yeah I'll explain you with this example let's say we have to we want to work on two files okay one which gives us input and one wherein we want to paste the output okay that is one file has all the data which you want to read and one in which you want to manipulate the data and save it again okay so it works like this this is our program this is out file because this is a function okay which I created I named it out file you can name it anything okay this is another function in file this will help us take in data and this is this will help us to give out data okay we link them to the program and then this out file has been linked to result result is a file okay and this in file has been linked to file name called data so what happens is our program will uh, our program will read data from this data file so this is our read file okay so the data goes from here to the stream and then to our program the program does some manipulation or the functions it has been asked to do and then it goes to out file and it saves the data and result file okay so this is the flow of the read and the route uh, read and the write program so this was done using constructors right because we created two different objects for reading and writing the data that is giving out and giving uh, taking in the data now after you done with working on the program or, or working on the file so you have to close the file okay so how do you do that to close the file if you want to close the file first you specify the function out file because out file has been linked to the file you created uh, like I showed you here out file has been linked to my file okay so whenever you call the function out file uh, the, ob the object out file it will directly go to my file so to close the file you type the ob uh, you first type the object dot close and you simply close it now close is a member function okay close is a member function of the class you use that was of stream mem function of of stream so this is how you do using constructors you know the uh, constructors are the least used when it comes to file handling like people use this very rarely the major part is done by member function like most of the file handling is done by member function method so we'll study member functions now so the second type was 
using member functions pay close attention to this because if you understand this you can do file handling it is okay if you don't understand the func uh, it is okay if you, you just use this method this will get fetch you marks okay so this method is more important because it answers the it answers a question like let's first ask a question why should okay which method should you use okay this is a question which method should you use now if you want to work on only one file if only one file is your target use constructors use the method one because that method works on one file but when you start working with multiple files let's say for example you have four files now okay file one file two file three file four if you have four files and you use constructor in this then the object which you create will link all these four files to that one object you don't want that to happen because you will open multiple files together which will give you an error so here is when you use the method to which is using member functions this is why pre people prefer to use member functions even if it is for one file because it is more easier and it gives you the ability to handle one file at a time okay so now we'll do a uh, while now we'll understand how member functions work okay so similarly we create a function first okay so now sim uh, we take if you want to uh, if you want to write data that is if you want to write data the class we refer to is of stream okay like i've written this before if you want to write data you you use of stream okay sorry if you want to write data you use of stream okay so i'll create an object but i'll not link it to anything i'll show you so it goes like of stream and let's call our object out file okay out file that's it I don't link it to any of the files like we did over here okay I'll show you where did we link it remember in constructor method we used to link it out file was linked to my file but in member method we do not link it we just create the object okay now let's say you have four files that you want to work on file one file 2 file 3 file 4 you want to work on this four files and you want to open the file one first so using member function you write out file dot open let's say we want to work on file one first open file one open is the member okay i'll not write it over here open is the member function there are only two member functions as of right now two member functions being open and close okay only two member functions so out file which was our object dot open file one that is you open the first file now you write your code whatever you want to do on that file okay and then you close it so that is out file again using the member function close that's it it is not it is not necessary to enter the file 
name again because that was the only file open okay you do not have to specify the file name the only file open was file one and it will close file one only now another thing to notice you cannot open more than one file at a time the compiler cannot handle more than one file at a time important you can open only one file at a time okay so if you want to work on another another file you have to first close the first file that you're working on and then open another file like if i want to work on file 2 now i'll write out file dot open file 2 I'll work on it and then I have to close it again that is out file dot close okay so I've opened the first file I did something on the first file out file dot close that will close the first file and now I open the second file because I cannot I can open only one file at a time I work on the second file and I close it again okay so this is it this is what we did as of right now that was file handling it started from here we first did how uh, we first studied how IO stream works okay how it is stored in a temporary memory and then we did F stream which was over here how F stream will store it on a permanent data it will store on it on the hard disk okay we did open and close functions how to open and close a file the two methods to open and close a file were uh, the two methods to open and close of, uh, of file were constructor method and a member function method okay uh, yes the file how program connects the console program and the file program together and if you want to use constructor method you use the class you create an object and you link it to the file and every time you write of out file, every time you write, uh, where did I write? Okay, every time you write out file my file, it will open the file for you. Okay, and then to close it, you write the normal close statement, which is out file dot close. It will close the my file which was linked to it. And to use member function method, you simply create an object of the thing you want to do. If you want to write data, you create of stream out file if you want to write data uh, if you want to read data you create if i have stream uh, in file or whatever you want to name the object it is completely your call if you and then you create file one two three four which already in the folder which you made the program in op to open the file you write the uh, object first out file dot open file one which will open the file one you work on file one you close it and then you open the file two you work on file 2 and you close it. That's it. We'll continue in another video.